Welcome back to Shems. In this episode, we'll frame the walls of a two-story house. And step one is lumber. For this home, we purchased our lumber locally from Meeks Lumber. Hey guys, I'm Pete. Welcome to Meeks Lumber. Meeks has been providing top quality building materials to local contractors and homeowners for over 90 years. They have all the lumber you need to build a house. They also have a very convenient drive-in yard where you can pull up on your truck and load the materials. Or for larger orders like an entire house, we had Meeks delivered to our job site. Today we are here at uh, our current job site, which is our class, and uh, we have uh, one more task to do. A few days ago we did build this conventional floor, which consists of TGI joist and uh, some uh, 2x6 exterior walls, wood, beams. So we put all together after the inspection. We did cover the floor with the 3 quarter inch plywood. Okay, now we are ready to start laying out the first floor uh, framing. Framing consists of snapping layout lines, plating, detailing, and raising up the walls. So we need to take the plans and put it on the first floor. So since uh, we know our exterior walls all 2 by 6 walls, therefore it's 5 and a half inches. So we're taking the longest wall, marking five and a half inches. Okay. The first wall is snapped. Yeah, when you're snapping, make sure that you put the marks on the straight angle, 90 degrees. So you cannot hold the tape like this angle, otherwise your dimensions will be wrong. Make sure you have approximate 90 degree angle. Now we're going to do bathroom. So again, you need to reference the plans and talk to the owner or designer what kind of a tub enclosure is going to be. Going to be shower pan, shower tub or just tile. We are done snapping the floor, so the next step is to plate. The basic concept of plating is transferring the layout from the blueprint to the floor. So we are placing this double plate on the line. Okay. And uh, we start to mark all the walls. Bottom and top plates are tacked together, making it easier to detail. Stud height, stud spacing, windows and doors are marked out on the plates. And this is what we call detailing the plates. We have plumbing on the way. Since the pipe is two inches, we cannot save the bottom plate, so what we do, we're going to cut out the bottom plate. So we mark it using our square on both sides and cut it.
Okay, as you can see, the wall is cut to the sides. So now I just cut out this place for the pipe. And throw away this box. Okay, so the wall is ready for detail. We build the walls as specified in the blueprint and then we raise them. When raising a wall to keep it from sliding, scrap supports are nailed to the rim or the floor. The walls are checked for square and braced. Then the walls are tied together with a second top plate that laps over from wall to wall. This plate is called the crown plate. Some walls can be raised with a couple of guys and others will require machinery as some walls can get really heavy. This home is a custom home where we incorporated a metal beam. Bolts were welded to the beam on site to tie everything together. Once the walls of the first floor are up and all the beams are in place, we lay down the second floor and repeat the process. Snap the layout of the floor, plate it, detail, build and raise up the walls. Now we are ready to frame the roof. Thank you for watching Shems. To sign up for classes, visit shems.com forward slash classes.
and register today.